Burger Cuda. Hi, I'm American Cars and Racing Executive Editor Gary Gastelou, and this is a car report. First of all, our apologies to Ann Wilson, but it's impossible to not think of her song when you say the word Barracuda, even if the word you're saying is Burger Cuda. McDonald's has unveiled a custom 1970 Plymouth Barracuda that it's had turned into the Burger Cuda, which has apparently been the Hamburglar's getaway car all these years. It's part of a promotion for McDonald's new upgraded hamburgers and is actually going to be making a cross-country trip. And if you spot it and scan the QR code, you can get some free burgers and merch. The car was designed by renowned custom car designer Sean Smith, who's previously done some incredible stuff like a Plymouth Roadrunner for Kevin Hart, and a mid-engine Dodge Charger that was used in the Fast and Furious 9 film. The Burger Cuda has a 440 horsepower V8 and four-speed transmission, and a custom black and white paint job to match the Hamburglar suit. The interior is also done up in black and white stripes, plus some red and yellow McDonald's colors, and features a center console that has a burger warmer inside of it. The badging has also been customized with Burger Cuda and McDonald's logos, and it has a Robble Robble license plate. The pictures that have been revealed so far don't show them, but it also has hubcaps shaped like buns and a spare tire disguised as a cheeseburger. Details on when and where it'll be are secret, so keep an eye out for it, but I can tell you this, it definitely seems more appropriate than the car that Grimace got last year. The purple creature featured with a Lotus Esprit that really doesn't look like he'd fit it. There had actually been some talk and rumors that Dodge was going to bring back the Barracuda name to replace the Challenger, but it looks like it's going to be the Charger Daytona instead. And that electric car has been teased in the first images, but stay tuned because that's going to be fully revealed now on March 5th. So subscribe to this channel because we'll be bringing you that and head over to AmericanCarsAndRacing.com every day for the latest automotive and racing news.